morning, Berlin. I'm Jack Dorothy Solo, and these are your news for today, April 21st, 2015. Yesterday morning, juniors had a chance to listen to a wonderful lecture by author, journalist, and reporter, Mr. Juan Carlos Botero, son, of, son and manager of Colombian artist Fernando Botero. He spoke to the class of 2016 about Botero's work, trajectory, and, leg and legacy. He shared insight into his father's work of art and reasons behind some of his greatest collections. This month, we are celebrating Autism Awareness Month, Autism Spectrum Disorder is a range of complex neuro neurodevelopment disorders characterized by social impairments, communication difficulties, and restricted repetitive and stereotype pattern of behavior of autism. Is it, autism is the fastest growing developmental disorder in the U.S. This past weekend, our team participated in the Autism Walk with more. Here is Daniel Riveron. This past Sunday, April 19th, the Walk for Autism took place in Doral Central Park. There were $10 donations for everyone who wished to park inside of the park, raising a large sum of money for a great cause. People started the walkathon and finished after 5 kilometers. It's such a beautiful day here in Doral Central Park. We are so blessed to be surrounded by so many supportive families, over 25,000 people here for Autism Speaks. Today we celebrate our 10-year anniversary as Autism Speaks with our walk now. Everyone is here gathered, having a wonderful day. We have so many of our beautiful sponsors to thank for being here, and everyone's enjoying the great entertainment. Again, I would love to give a special shout out and thanks to Belen. You've been a wonderful and supportive team, and we cannot continue to the great work that we do without your support. So on behalf of Autism Speaks and all the families that we touch, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, that we can't say anything else, thank you. Besides the walk, there were many booths from many companies who sold supplies in order to raise the money. The walkathon was a smart and profitable idea for autism awareness. My name is Lauren Lopez. I'm the Light It Up Blue ambassador. I'm super happy to be here. Uh, I'm in charge of Lighting Up Blue on April 2nd for lighting up all of Miami, so I'm super happy to be here. So, woo! Go Autism Speaks! This has been Daniel Riveron for WBLN. Now back to you. Thank you, Daniel, for helping us better understand autism. Join our Key Club, cl club members in raising money for Autism Speaks. The team will be selling team shirts all month and can be worn April 30th instead of school uniform. For more information, please see Mr. Caldron. The chess team competed in the final rated tournament of the academic year this past weekend. Four students participated in the K-8 division. Sixth grader Connor Smith competed in his first chess tournament. He scored one point with his very first competitive victory. Sixth grade Maximus Sanchez scored one point in the K-12 under 14 division. Two students achieved personal best scores. Eighth grader Carlos Ariza earned three points and ninth grader Andrew Birch earning two points. The Belen community is invited to join us for a screening of the movie. This special event will include members of the Carrollton School of the Sacred Heart community. This is a unique opportunity to watch a wonderful and inspirational film before it is released to the public. The screening will take place at Sinalopis Coconut Grove Theater on Wednesday, April 22nd. This, free event, this event is free. Doors open at 6.15 p.m. Movie premiere begins at 7 p.m. If you have any questions, please email our Director of Communications, Teresa Martinez at tmartinez at belenjesuit.org. Here's the trailer. Hey, where's your cane, Tiny Tim? You know, it's really too soon to make any diagnosis. Let's just say you're a little boy. My story takes place on the home front. That's my dad. I wanted to be just like him. Everything we did became a great adventure. Do you believe we can do this? Yes, I believe we can do this! Partner, do you believe you can do this? I believe I can do this! Pepper, Flint, Busby, it's time to go to bed. Always good in the old Busby home. Or so I thought. You're going to war. Yes. I don't want you to go. Why can't we stay together? The moment of truth. I am searching for the chosen one. Me, 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 you. Me, me, me. The movement of an object to inner power. Do you believe you can do this? Yes! I believe I can move it! You wanted the bottle to move so much. It moved. Your faith is powerful. But if I get enough faith, nothing's impossible, right? Even bringing my dad home? Your faith won't work if you have even the slightest bit of doubt. What if I can bring dad back? How? How 
are you going to bring Dad back? You... I can move a mountain. You want to move a mountain? There's one. Go ahead. Move it. <gasps> Was that an earthquake? It's a miracle. It's up to you to achieve the impossible. It takes courage to believe. Your father would be more than proud of you. Support the Belen Youth Missions participants in their fan fundraising endeavor. The Belen Youth Missions group is selling Mother's Day mini cakes. Pre-order April 13th through May 4th. The cost per cake is $10. Orders can be picked up at the Wolverine Den on May 8th. The students attending the, the BYM trip to the Dominican Republic each have to raise $500. Visit the Belen Youth Missions website at www.belenyouthmission.org to read about the mission trip and to make a donation. Belen Summer Camp is not accepting applications for students interested in working this summer. Applicants must be in good academic standing with a clean disciplinary record. Applications are due Friday, May 15th. For more information, visit www.belensummercamp.org. Boston Strong, two years later, thousands of runners took to the streets for Boston Marathon this morning. The race shows the great strides the city has taken to step out from the shadow of the 2013 bombings there. With a million watching, the 2015 Boston Marathon began, mo began Monday morning, two hours and nine minutes later. Lalisa de Sisa of Ethiopia won the race, with Kenya's Caroline Rotish winning the women's division in two hours and 24 minutes. The race comes two years after a pair of bombs were detonated at the finish line, killing three people and injuring hundreds. It also comes a day before the sentencing of one of the men behind the attack, Zokar Sarnev. Sarnev. Security at the race is tight, with a small army of officers keeping runners and spectators safe. More than two dozen survivors of the blast are running in this year's marathon. They say this race is not about the bombing or the man behind it. Actor Sean Astin ran the race for the Martin Richard Foundation, named after the eight-year-old eight -year boy killed in the blast. In international news, Ukraine has officially welcomed U.S. troops at a military base near the western city of Lviv. The April 20th, 20th uh, ceremony marked the beginning of exercises named Fearless Guardian 2015, in which around 300 soldiers from the 173rd Airborne Brigade will train some 900 Ukrainian National Guard Service personnel. Russia has denounced the operation, saying U.S. troops will destabilize Ukraine. Now on to Gabriel Tozo to tell us what's going on around our hallways. Thank you, Jack. American Sign Language will meet today at 3 p.m. in room E210. History Club will meet today at 3 p.m. in H221. Respect Life Club will meet today at 3 p.m. in H204. Robotics Club will meet today and Thursday at 3 p.m. in room I121. Forensics Team will meet today and Thursday at 3.10 p.m. in room D205. Music Appreciation Society will not, will not meet today due to conflicting uh, mock AP tests. We will resume next week. Astronomy Club will meet today at 7.30 p.m. in the observatory. National Junior Honor Society will meet tomorrow, Thursday, at 3 p.m. in the dining room. That's what's going on in your hallways. Now back to you, Jack. Thank you, Gabriel. Stay tuned as we bring you weather and sports after these messages. Now on to Joseph Garcia with our weather. Thank you, Jack. Let's take a look at your weather for today. We're definitely going to see some rain, about one or two inches, and then we, there's a slight chance of thunderstorms. Now let's take a look at the highs and lows for the rest of the day. Today we're looking at a high of 85 and a low of 75 with a chance of thunderstorms and a humidity at 72%. And there's going to be a southeast wind coming in at 5 miles per hour. Now let's take a look at your highs and lows for the rest of the week. On Wednesday, we're looking at a high of 83 and a low of, 80, of 75. There's a chance of rain of 90%. On Thursday, 
We're looking at a high of 87 and a low of 73, with a chance of rain of 90% again. On Friday, we're looking at a high of 89 and a low of 76, with a chance of rain of 50%. That's all for your weather. Now back to you. Thank you, Joseph. Now on to sports with Nick Roker. Thank you, Jack. The middle school track and field team came in second place at the South Regional Meet. Luciano Botecci came in first place in the 800 meters, a high jump, triple jump, and anchored the 4x8 team to a second place finish with Jake Miguez and Henrique Souza and Sean Buben. Enrique Souza also got second in the 1500 meters and 3000 meters. Nicholas Patricios and Javi Canto came second and third in the shot put and Javi Canto came third in the discus throw. Ryan Bermudez came in second and third in the 200 meters and 100 meter hurdles. Sebastian Castillo won the 100 meter hurdles in the sixth grade division. Carlos Avila, Ryan Bermudez, John Lee, and Nicholas Patricios qualified for the state meet on May 9th. The Belen Jesuit track and field team will compete in the region meet, the regional championships being held at Anson Stadium in Miramar. Competition begins at 9 a.m. for field events and running events start at 7 p.m. Belen Jesuit varsity baseball team will be hosting Doral Academy in the district semifinal game. Game time is 3.30 p.m. Admission is $6. Attention all 8th and 9th graders. There will be a meeting this Thursday, April 23rd, for anyone interested in playing football for Belen next season. The meeting will take place in the gym lobby at 3.10 p.m. The JV volleyball team participated in this year's Sunset JV Invitational Tournament over the weekend. The competition was intense and had some great matches. Congratulating, congratulations to all winning teams in each division. They are as follows. Overall, gold champi champion streams. A, a Morning got first, second Palmetto, third Belen, fourth McCarthy. Silver Champions, fifth Braddock, sixth Columbus, sun, seventh Sunset, eighth Varela. Bronze Champions, ninth Killian, tenth Spanish River, eleventh Pace, and twelfth Slam. Tickets for the sp sports banquet are available at sale on sale at online at www.belenjesuit.org slash sports banquet or in the athletic office located in the gym lobby. Tickets purchased online will be available for pickup one business day after they are purchased. For more information and or would like to volunteer in coordinating these events, please contact Maria Consuegra in the Athletic Office at 786-621-4183 or mconsuegra at belenjesuit.org. That's all for sports. Now back to you, Jack. Thank you, Nick. Students, be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all the latest news and pictures. I'm Joaquin Solo, and for here, everyone at WBLN, have a wonderful day and stay Golden Wolverines.